Hi, thanks for tuning into the video. Before we get started, I wanted to invite you over to my personal website at toddbrandon.com. There you can find out more about me and you can even contact me through the website. And now on to the video. Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brandon, and in this video we're going to build out our vendor detail form, or we're going to get started on it. In the last video we built the main form here, our vendor database form, where we select a vendor from our vendor table in this uh, combo box, and then once we do, we want to click the select box that it will take us to that vendor detail form that shows us vendor details such as the name of the vendor, the vendor website, and then also eventually a subform that lists all the contacts associated with that vendor. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some shortcuts here on creating a new form. So I've got my, um, I need to close my main form, but with it highlighted, I'm gonna do a Control C, Control V. And so, um, I don't want a copy of the main form. I want to name this my vendor detail form. And this will just kind of shortcut the process a little bit. Let me go ahead and go to design view by right clicking and clicking on design view. Let me close this property sheet just for now. And I'm just going to start deleting a few things here and Hold the shift key down while I select all these items. Actually, you know what? I'll keep that select button and I'll just rename it. I'll click delete and then let me select all these. I'll click the select button and hold the shift key down. Now I can move all of these up to the top, which is what I want to do. I'll, uh, I will now just select the uh, blue rectangle Bring that down to about two inches. Um, I guess that's what that is. Click on the select button. Bring that over here, down about right here. And this is going to, I'm going to change this right now to be uh, back to main. So I'm going to click on the property sheet with that select button selected. And then let me find the, let me make sure that's sorted. Let's find the name property. I'm going to change that to command back to main. And I also want to change the uh, caption. So let's find caption and let's do back to main. And one more thing we need to do is let's establish the functionality of that button by going to the event tab and on click, I'm going to, I'm going to select the uh, button with the three dots. That's the builder button. So it brings up this choose builder uh, wizard. I'm going to actually use the macro builder on this. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to do, uh, there's going to be two events with this. One is going to be open form. And I'll click when I uh, press tab, it opens up the rest of this. The form name is uh, FRM underscore main. And then that's all I need for that section. And then the new action is going to be close window. And then I press tab on that. The object type is form. tab down, the object name is frm underscore vendor detail. We're closing the form that we're in and we're reopening the main form. And we'll leave everything as the default. We'll click save, we'll close, and let's just test that. Let's go to form view. Let's click on back to main. Oh, I do wanna save that, so thank you access. Uh, so let's go back. Let's close this one more time. Test that vendor detail. I'm going to open form view. So back to main gets us back to main. It closes the form detail or the vendor detail form. All right. So let's go to again, design view form detail. So I want to go up to the control section of the design tab. 
and I want a text box. So I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to drag it out. And this is going to be our vendor name. And I don't need a label for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the label, highlight that alone, and then press delete on my keyboard. So now what I want to do is re-highlight that um, text box. And actually before that, I need to go to this box up in the upper left-hand corner of the form until and click on it until you see the little black box inside of it. This brings up the properties for the entire form. And one important property that we need, we need a record source. And that record source is going to be the vendor table. So we have to set that before we can go into our text box and pull in elements from that table. So now I can select the control source on the data tab for my text box to be vendor name. And so now it's bound to that table. And then what I want to do is do some formatting here. I want this vendor name to show up with a background just like the, the uh, blue background here. And then I want the font, of course, to be white. I don't want a border around it. And so in order to do that, let me go to format. Let me uh, sort everything. So the back color needs to be the same as the rectangle color, which is this dark blue. And now since we can't see our text, we need to change the four color on that. And that's going to be this color here. I need to change my uh, font. And then I need to change the font size to be bigger. I think we're going to go somewhere around 26. That looks good. Maybe 28. Any, any, again, this is all suggestion. You can do what you want if you're following along. This is just kind of how I like to format things out. <clears throat> okay, so remember, this is a text box. So it's you know similar to any other form where you would input text or it would show you know text uh, from a, a data source like a table or a query. But I want this to look more like a label, but I want it to be dynamic. So that's why I'm using a text box. However, the problem is this text box will get focus when this form opens. And one more thing I forgot, I need to change the border color of this text box so it matches the background color. So it's more like that. So let's go over here and let's look at form view. Now I want to add another text box. So I'm going to click on text box and I'm going to drag that out. This will be a little bit smaller font. And this is going to be a control source of the vendor website. And remember, I want to come over here. I want to remove this label. I don't need that. And then the other thing I'm going to do real quick, save a little bit of time, I'm going to click on the first text box. I'm going to go to the Home tab. I'm going to click on Format Painter and then click on the second text box. And what it does is formats that text box just like the first one. And the only thing I really need to change at this point is my um, font size. So we'll go there. We'll go back to 11. And that's how I want it to look. So we're looking pretty good. So if I go to vendor or I go to uh, form view, this is what we're looking for. Go back to design view, kind of tweak this a little bit, kind of, I don't know, align everything a little bit. I'm just eyeballing it. <laughs> and let's go back to form view. And that looks pretty good. I might bring it up. I don't want to obsess about it too much, but <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, bring this up a little bit, and I think we're good to go. I'll be happy with it. Yeah, that looks a little better. So uh, now we have a uh, vendor detail form. And so it shows the um, vendor detail here with the vendor name, the vendor uh, web address. And then we have our back to main button to take us back to the main form. And eventually, we're going to have our subform down here with our contact information for that vendor. But we'll do that in the next set of videos. In the next video, what I'm going to actually do is show you how to wire up the main form. So when we select our vendor, it will now open up the vendor detail form to the correct vendor here. So we'll do that in the next video, and I will see you there.